film, the fan, the film, the fan, the film, the fan, the film fan wins. Hey guys, welcome back to the film fan twins. Today we'll be reviewing Mary Poppins Returns. Mary Poppins Returns was re Mary Poppins Returns was released in December of 2018. It is now 2019. Yep. Um, so hopefully we'll have enough time to go watch it. Um, if you haven't watched it, watch it. Watch it before. <laughs> well. You can watch it before this video if you want to, if not you can just carry on watching this video because so. But there will be spoilers. Obviously, um, it's a review. <laughs> um, <coughs> so, for starters we should probably talk about the plot of the film. Yes. Um, so, the film is set in 1930s Britain. Um, it is a sequel to the first film, obviously, so um, it's a carry-on. So, Michael and Jane from the first film have grown up. Yeah, they're all grown up now. And, um, basically, they've now got money problems. Um, so they're struggling to keep the house um, going because um, Michael's wife died. Um, and she was one who took care of finances and everything. Yeah. Um, so, Michael sends his three children, Annabelle, John and Georgie, mm -hmm. to go get some bread. I think it's to get some bread. Yeah, I think it's to get bread. Well, to go to the grocery store. And um, they go off uh, running down the road mm -hmm. and... Um, Georgie runs off. <laughs> Georgie runs off um, flying a kite, um, which I believe... Um, in the film, isn't it? Yeah, there's a song. Let's go first. That's the original film. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, anyway, Georgie's flying a kite. Um, obviously it goes into the air, and um, that's where kites go. <laughs> and um, and then Mary Poppins grabs the, um, the kite, and yeah. she just brings herself down. She just like so gracefully comes down from the sky. Like, <laughs> And then Mary Poppins just casually strolls along back to the house yeah. um, and goes, Michael and Jane obviously recognise her as their old daddy. Yeah. Um, they've forgotten about her magic and everything. Um, Michael is like, <gasps> and Mary's um, looks at him and goes, Michael, please close your mouth, we're still not a godfish. And then Jane starts giggling and um, Mary Poppins looks at Jane and goes, still have a tendency to giggle, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so Mary Poppins does her thing, she goes up the baluster, rather than down it, and um, she bumps into Ellen and she's just like... Hello Mary Poppins! Hello Mary Poppins! And Mary Poppins like, hello Ellen! Can I just say, that scene, what made it even funnier was the fact that um, Michael and Jane went into the living room where Mary Poppins went and saw her stuff out. And they were in the, was it the living room and they went, she never did have magic, did she? Yeah. And then in the background, all you see is Mary Poppins sliding up the baluster! <laughs> <laughs> that is one of the best film, uh, the, the best scenes. Um, so, Mary Poppins tells the children they need to have a bath. And, oh, I love uh, this scene. Me too. Tells them they need to have a bath. And Annabelle's like, I've had a bath. And then Mary Poppins is like, from where I see it, um, a bath is needed when... Um, when it's dirty. <laughs> or something like that. Something like that. And, um... So the children are saying how they don't believe in um, magic and stuff. And Mary Poppins is like, it's absolutely right, it's the notion of it. Yeah. And um, so she creates a dolphin in a bathtub. Yeah. And then they jump into the bathtub. There's this amazing musical scene where they're singing, um, Imagine can you, That. Can you imagine that? <laughs> sail right over waterfalls, can you, you imagine, imagine that? that? Yeah, that one. And, um, after that, obviously, the children now understand that she's magical. She has magic. Um, they jump into a. They, they because they want to save the house, and um, the children think of the idea to sell their mother's. Um, oh, pot. it's like a bowl, isn't it? It's like their mother's bowl. That's it. Their mother's yeah. bowl. So they go to sell it, and they end up breaking it. Mary obviously finds out about this. Yeah. 
and um, so to fix it, she sends them inside the bowl. It's her, the children, and the lamplighter called Jack. Yeah. Played by Lin Manuel Miranda. I love him. He's mm. amazing. Um, they meet this Irish dog man. Yeah. Um, he's hilarious. The, the kids are looking at him and say, but, but you're going to say, but you're a dog. And then the dog turns around and goes, that's right, I'm Irish. Yeah, he's like, I'm Irish. <laughs> and so then they go into the new song, um, Royal Dalton. Oh my god, I love this song. It's oh. great. Um, Royal Dalton musical. <laughs> you can't remember. Uh, yeah, that scene, in the scene, they obviously, um, they're in the bowl now. And um, the singing Royal, musical, Royal Dalton musical. Yeah. And they end up going there to see a performance. Uh, Mary Poppins and Jack perform a song. Yeah. Um, about something, I think it's something called By the Book or something. It's really, really good. Um, it's something about not judging the book by its cover. Yeah, and um, the kids, uh, they run off because uh, Georgie, the younger child, uh, sees this, um, the, the big bad wolf. Mm -hmm. And it looks like and he's got his um, pocket watch and it's swinging. And he also has um, Georgie's toy, I think. His giraffe. He has Georgie's giraffe and he notices it. So he goes out there and he sees the big bad wolf is actually selling all of their possessions. Mm. And um, the kids jump on the, uh, get kidnapped by him and Mary Poppins has to go rescue them. No, Mary Poppins isn't in that scene. Oh, she's not in that scene, sorry. Um, they Georgie gets kidnapped and the other two children go to rescue him yeah. with the Irish dog. Um, but they end up falling down the side, the edge of the bowl. Mm. And they wake up terrified saying, oh. We had the worst dream, and then Mary Poppins is there. It's like it was not real, and then um, the kids obviously agree and say it is real. Yeah. Um, so they're upset because their mother died, and it was their bowl. It was her bowl. And then um, Mary sings this beautiful, beautifully sad song called "Where the Lost Things Go" yeah. about um, why they shouldn't be sad that their mother's gone because she's still there. She's still there. Which is a really sweet moment of the film. Yeah, it's one of those. But she's basically singing it to them to say that although their mother's dead, she's not fully gone because as long as they remember her, that she's always going to be with them, kind of thing. Yeah. Which I thought made me really the whole. When I was in the cinema watching it, everyone was in tears. It was a really sad song. Yeah. And it's quite sentimental as well. And then um, the kids decide to go to the bank. Um, to see the house. The house. Um, but they end up hearing something. That, why did they go to Topsy's house? There's this. Uh, Topsy, the, where they couldn't fix the bowl properly. Oh, yeah. And um, they went to Topsy to get it fixed. Topsy is Mary Poppins' cousin. Yeah. Um, played by Meryl Streep. Um, mm -hmm. Her house is upside down, which is strange, but it's similar to the original one. Then they go to the bank. Um, to try and save the house, but they end up overhearing the banker's plans to sell the house. Um, so they try and tell their dad, but obviously Michael's not having any of it, um, and they get in trouble. Then, um, uh, what happens then? They get kicked out of the bank. They get kicked out of the bank. And they only have a certain. They now only have a certain number of days to uh, pay the bank, so they can keep the house. And yeah. It's a bit of an unrealistic time scale. Yeah. To do it, and um, the film carries on, and then towards the end, um, they find they um, they're on their last day of having the payment for the house, and they haven't got the money. So what? Mary Poppins, Jack, and the kids, uh, they all say, "Oh, if only we could turn back time." And Mary Poppins is like, "You can." Or well, she's like, "I don't see why not." Yeah, I don't see why not. <laughs> so um, they go to Big Ben. As you do. And um, the Leary's, the Lanternizers, um, climb up Big Ben to turn his the hands back so, um, before it gets to midnight. And um, so by doing this, it gives the banks more time to get to the bank with the money that they now have to yeah. pay the banker. And um, they realise when they get there that they're missing a piece of the paper saying they got the money. Mm. And the bank is a bit of a, he's a bit mean. 
he won't let them have he won't let them keep the house because there's one bit of paper missing. And then suddenly Dick Van Dyke <laughs> yeah. he comes out of there. Shows up, um, talking about his wooden leg named Stanley. Yeah, and, and um, then he starts he starts dancing on the desk. Why Dick, not? Oh, Dick Van Dyke still got it. He can still dance at ninety odd years old. Wow. wow. And um, he explains that the tuppence that Michael put into the bank years ago grew into a large sum of money, so they can obviously pay off the house. Um, so they keep the house in the end. Um, Jack and Jane end up together. Yeah. Um, because Jack fancies Jane throughout the whole film. Mm -hmm. And then at the end they have these balloons um, given to them by Angela Lansbury. Um, Mrs. Potts yeah. <laughs> from Beauty and the Beast. And there's a song where they sing about only being able to go up. So they all fly up on their balloons because of their childhoods and stuff. Yeah, because they still have an inner child in them. Yeah. Um, but, um, the banker, he tries it and his balloon just drops. <laughs> And that's because of the fact that um, the banker, he, he doesn't have an inner child in him anymore and that has been totally kicked out of him. Yeah, that's the basic outline of the plot. Um, obviously there's some returning characters from the first film. Yeah. Um, Mary Poppins, obviously. Yeah. She returns, because yeah. that's an elder film. Um, Michael and Jane Banks, the children, obviously they're grown up. Yeah, they were um, grown up now. Michael and his um, deceased wife's children. Yeah, um, Annabelle. John and Georgie. Um, the Leary Jack. Yeah. Uh, Leary is what they call a lamplighter. Yeah. Then you've got Topsy, which is um, Mary Poppins' Mary Poppins cousin. Mary Poppins. Yeah, uh, called um, who's played by Meryl Streep. Mm. And you've got the big bad wolf, which is the banker, as well. Yeah. Um, played by Colin Firth. Yeah, that's right. Um. So there are some references to the original film. Um. Obviously, Mary goes up the banister, like she did in the first film. Yeah. Um, she still has the little um, parrot on the... Yeah, the little talking umbrella. Yeah, she's still got that. Um, it's very similar to the first one. It's almost a copy of it. Um, yeah, it's weird. It's, very, it's like a copy to the first film, but... They've made it feel like the original film without dead right, right, like outright copying it. Yeah. It's really strange. There's a lot more, um, whereas in the first film it's more subtle, in the new film they like put imagination everywhere in the first yeah. scenes and everything, like jumping into a bathtub. In the first film they just had them cleaning up, well they had the cleaning up scene in this film as well. They did, yeah. Um, I where she says to Georgie, it's like, Georgie Banks, cleaning is not a spectator sport. Yeah, oh, oh when, they were, when they were in the bath. Um, and uh, the, the, the kids jumped in and then Annabelle was like to Mary Poppins, aren't you going to go in after them? And Mary Poppins goes, no, I've had my bath. No. <laughs> I love that. Mm. But um, one diff another reference I noticed to the first film was like the, the way they've added um, animation. Yeah. The animation style they've got in certain scenes of this film looks exactly like the original. Yeah, they even have the penguins. The penguins. They have the penguins back. back. <laughs> um, another bit, which I thought was a really nice nod to the um, to the original, was the actor that played the dad in the first film. Obviously, he passed away a few years ago, and they have done a really nice nod for in, in reference to him at the end of the film by having Angela Lansbury in the film of, in the, at the end. And the way that's referenced to the actor who played the dad in the first film is because Angela Lansbury was also in another Disney film called Bed Knots and Roasted. This is an amazing film. And the dad in the first Mary Poppins was in that with her. So the way they referenced that was by having her appear in the last films and not to him. Yeah. Um, there are some differences. Um, I know that some people have mentioned how the ending of the film kind of defeats the purpose of the first film. How um first film was all about giving to charity and stuff, like yeah. helping people out. But at the end of the new film, um Dick Van Dyke's character said if he hadn't if Michael hadn't of put his tuppence in, he wouldn't have got the money to save the house. Yeah. So it's kind of saying that you need to invest in the banks and stuff. So 
is kind of the opposite of um, what the first film was intending. Um, also, I think it's good though because yeah, I guess some people think it's defeat defeated the purpose of the puzzle, but um, I also think by saying how if he hadn't put the supplements in, he wouldn't have the money. I think, in my opinion, it shows that one tiny little thing you do in your life can have a massive impact in your later life. Yeah, that's true. Um, so, there are a lot of songs in the film. Um, some of my favourites are Imagine That, um, Trip A Little Light like Fantastic, yeah. or Fantastic. Um, uh, uh, mine was, Royal Mu was the Royal Dalton Music Hall and Where the Lost Things Go. Yeah, they're all amazing songs. They're very, um, they're on par with the originals. Like, yeah, but, um, they fact, with some Disney films recently, and um, the songs that you could tell are Disney, but they don't have an old Disney feel. No. But with No Problems Returns, every song, it's ha it, you, you hear the first few bars and you're like, this is so Disney. Because like, you listen to songs from like The Little Mermaid or Beauty and the Beast, and yeah. you can tell this, these songs are Disney. But then it got to Frozen, and all oh, no, I love that film. Uh, the songs weren't quite Disney. They didn't have quite a Disney, old Disney feel, which kind of upset me a little bit. Well, they don't have an old Disney film, but they have a new Disney film. Yeah, um, whereas um, with Mary Poppins Returns, the old Disney feel came back, which I really like. Yeah. Um, it was a very good film. Out of five, I'd give it a five. Um, yeah, I'd give it a five. Yeah, good. overall, good. both give it a ten because it's such a good film. Um, it definitely lives up to the original. Um, I don't know why people are moaning about it not living up to the original. Yeah. Although it, okay, it is a sequel. Obviously, it's not going to be as good as the original. Yeah, because sequels never are. But it is, um, unless you account Toy Story. Um, yeah, true. That's my favourite Toy Story. Even which one? <laughs> the second one. My favourite. Yeah, the second one's my favourite as well. Um, even though it is a sequel, it it doesn't matter if it's better than the original, as long as it lives up to it. Yeah, which it did. Which it definitely did, and I would definitely, if you're a Mary Poppins fan, I would definitely watch the sequel. You may think, oh, it's not got the same feel as the old Mary Poppins, that's because it's the modern day now, so obviously it's going to have be aimed for a newer generation. Yeah. It's bringing Mary Poppins back to life as a newer character. Um, yeah. And some people I know, some I know that some people were quite hacked off that Julie Andrews wasn't in Mary Poppins. Yeah. So say so Julie Andrews, flaming legend, she's in the original Mary Poppins, she's in the Princess Diaries, but um, she, people were like, oh, why isn't she back for Mary Poppins? She is Mary Poppins. Yeah. But um, she, well, Julie Andrews was offered to come back for Mary Poppins Returns, but her reasoning for it, not returning, was that she wanted Emily Blunt to, she wanted it, she wanted her to be Mary Poppins so she could have her time to shine. Yeah, she didn't want to outstage her because if she was in the film, all people would be looking for was her cameo. Yeah. Um, she ended up doing Aquaman instead, which is, um, um, let's not talk about that. Um, mm -hmm. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. Um, Give the video a thumbs up, um, subscribe down below to see more, um, dingling the bell to get notified of more videos on this channel. Yep. Our next video is going to be... Basically, our next video is a Harry Potter video. It's a conspiracy theory, which unfortunately isn't mine. I did find it, I had to find out who came up with it. But the theory is, is Crookshanks Lily Potter? Yeah. Well, well, stay tuned for that, that'll be coming out on Friday. Yeah. Um, it's the first of our Friday videos. Thank you for watching. Again, subscribe to see more, comment down below. You know the drill. Subscribe to our Twitter, follow us on Twitter. At uh, Film Fan Twins. The Film Fan Twins. And we'll see you next time. Bye!